All right, so we're back in the main discussion topic this week. And this week's topic is about purposeful growth, right? And those are things that are just kind of easy to define, but I think that's where we need to start, start with, right? What is purpose, right? Purpose is uh, the reason for what something is done or created or that's, that something exists. What is purpose? You know what purpose means. Purpose is moving with attention, right? So if we're talking about purposeful growth, simply this, it's a goal that's larger than oneself that matches the skills and interests with the needs of the world, that matches their skills and interests with the needs of the world. So when you when we talk about like coming out of 2020, going into 2021, we all want to grow, right? Well, we want to grow purposefully. We want to feel like we're moving in a direct direction that is not only becoming of us, but that is that is becoming of a of a, of a greater purpose of us, right? Or uh, for us, something that we may not even see um, within ourselves to see us accomplishing. And I don't always like to link stuff on this podcast back to me necessarily, but for t for example, purposeful growth. <laughs> My growth and what I'm doing with the Awakened Soul has always been to touch people. If you look at the way that it that the Awakened Soul has evolved, I've evolved as a host. I went from somebody who literally in every segment. So the first, just the period behind the the first months of the Awakened Soul existing, I still had the different segments like I do now. They were different segments, but I had a different guest for each segment. I didn't feel comfortable holding down any segment alone by myself, so I had a different guest for each one. As the as the podcast continued, as it growed, uh, as we had growth, I I I started having less and less, uh, or I would I, I eventually got it to the point to where, and I don't remember exactly when this happened, but it went from having a guest every single segment to then having a segment I did by myself, a segment that somebody else did by themselves uh, when we had the unpopular opinion. Um, and then we had the, and that change into the Cookie Chronicles. And then I had a guest in the last segment. Rock that out for a while. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll bring in a guest if, if, if needed just for the topic in one of the different segments. And then eventually that has now grown to the part of this podcast, basically from start to finish, a lot of times now is me solo. And that was me flexing that, or working that muscle and building that resilience up to a point to where I felt like I could handle a whole episode by myself. On top of that, the Awakened Soul was very, not scripted, but it was, I had notes and bullet points for every single thing that I did. Whereas now, like I've reached the point now where I come up with a concept to come up with a topic. I'll think about it over the course of the week between the episodes and then I record it. I don't really always have notes unless it's a guest and I have things that I want to specifically bring up to him, bring up to them or uh, notes that I give to the guests to know kind of where my mind is and where we're going so they can prepare for each topic. But that had to be intentional and purposeful growth for me to get to this point of now being able to flip on the camera and the microphone and the recording and just let it go. And, you know, I, that's something now I can do live streams. I've done live streams. People, when I was uh, doing the live stream every Sunday on the Awakened Soul uh, Instagram page, I did that. And that was completely unscripted. That was completely, I came up with what I wanted to talk about, just one single topic, and I just let it go between me and the guests, and I just let it go uh, from their point on. And so that's stuff that I've built. That was a growth that I had that was intentional. And I think, at least that I hope, is that with to get to the, the, the purposeful growth part of that, is that the, the goal of this podcast has always been to touch and help other people think, grow their mindsets and whatever else. So I had to I had to grow for me to be able to get to that purpose. If that purpose is, is truly what I'm here for and what I want to execute with this podcast, I had to get to that point. So spend a lot of time talking about me. Let's not make it just about me. Um, but growth is process. Growth is forward movement, forward movement. And a lot of times we allow ourselves to get stuck in thinking. We allow ourselves to get stuck in routine and we don't we're moving. But and we feel and it feels sometimes like we're, we're we're growing because we're moving, we're handling things, we're going a mile a minute, but we're moving in a circle or we're moving in a way that is not real growth. It's just stagnation, and it it can become that. And you and I think that and you know I speak for myself, I speak for others when I say that is that that's that's just life. Don't make yourself feel bad because of especially after the year that we had, a lot of us could do nothing but but operate and move within the same amount of space in the same amount of time um well not amount of time but but just kind of stay stagnant for a while because 
we didn't have a lot of opportunities. A lot of people were out of work. A lot of jobs went away. Um, a lot of people couldn't travel. So people got sick. People had loved ones that could have got sick that they had to protect or, or they did get sick and they had to sit there and stay with. So coming into this year, I know no, the pandemic isn't over. There's a chance it may not be over for the majority of this year too. But the things are opening back up. Chances and opportunities are opening back up. Live streaming is a huge one. Uh, to to get out there, connect and reach people, not just for podcasting, not just for YouTubing, but for anything. Hell, we did a, a paint night and the, the painter was conducted it over Skype, but they were still able to do their business, even though people couldn't uh, conjugate and get in groups. And they were able to do that by using technology and still and start their business and do their business and execute it. So. We have to move forward and get out of this of this mindset of you know moving to move and and challenge ourselves to make sure that we're moving forward in a way that sometimes feels uncomfortable um so you ask like yourself why right why must i grow purposefully um why must i grow uh and and not be able to stand still or just stay stagnant or whatever else why is it a, ne a necessity that i that i grow purposefully and the thing is, is that um, standing still and in one spot in any circumstance can be fatal. Staying still can be fate, fatal. We can't expect to reach a better future, a better lives for ourselves, get opportunities uh, to make better lives for our children if we stay stagnant this whole time or stay, you know, in, in this in static and in this one position um, in life. And, you know, I get it. Sometimes it's difficult because again, comfortability breeds stagnation sometimes. And we get caught up in being comfortable. We get caught up in, in we're able to pay our bills. We're able to do this. We, we every, every Monday night I'm sitting in front of the same spot watching TV and that's happiness. And don't get me wrong, some routine is necessary, right? But you have to break out of that. And to stay still forever, to stay stagnant, you're not evolving. And that's what it goes down to too, to grow and evolve we must do so with intent and purpose. You can't evolve, you can't grow if you're not moving in a way that's intentional in what you're doing, whether it's being whether it's being a healthier, where whether it's being more intelligent in how you move, whether it's demanding and sticking to commitments or challenging yourself to whatever else, you have to grow. Getting to a new way and creating a new way for yourself and your loved ones around you are only it requires growth, and that requires being purposeful about how you do that growth. What can I do? To, to grow purposefully? How do I invest in my own personal and purposeful growth? What can you do for that? The most, the biggest asset that we have in, in just being human, right? Is, is time. That is like money comes and goes. Friendships sometimes come and go. Time, time is the one thing that we have no control over. Unless you're a mutant, um, you know, and, and, and you have unlocked the powers of time travel. Let me know if you've done that. I need to holler at you because there's some things I need to go and correct. But with that being said, we all have the same 24 hours every day. Time is the universal aspect that we all have. Now, we all don't have the same amount of time on this earth. We all don't know when our time is ending. But every day, if we take it a day at a time, we all have that same 24 hours. How you feel that 24 hours is up to you. And again, I don't want to shame anyone because hell, I play video games. I got the PS5 now. I'm back. I wasn't playing video games for long. So there's time where I spend doing that. Um, there's times where we leisure time is necessary as well. Right. But some of that time that you take and invest, if, even if you can just cut out 30 minutes, an hour, whatever else over the course of a day to really try to change that um, and, and, and do something that's going to add to your growth and add to you be, becoming a better person in whatever facet that you want. Uh, think of something that you want to obtain that you think that you always have, haven't had the time to do and figure out how to add some time for that. Like I said, if it's five minutes a day, if it's 10 minutes a day, it's a start and you'll start seeing how your brain will automatically stop thinking about, oh, I don't have enough time to thinking, oh no, I have 10 minutes for that a day. And then eventually it'll go from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes to eventually an hour and then it starts becoming your passion and then once it's once it's your passion and you're passionate about creating and cutting out that time for those th for those things it, like you just be amazed where investing time in your growth purposely still investing that how that will help you secondly money this is the thing we all don't want to talk about how can you invest in your growth uh professionally and sometimes 
whether that's investment classes so you can gain your worth so then you can have more flexible income to do other things, whether it's taking money that maybe that you spent in other places and finding a way to cut that and apply that to something that is going to help you grow, whether it's a class. For so many so many people, I'm, I'm one of them. I wanted to go to film school. I wanted to go to uh, broadcast school as well. And I didn't because I thought I didn't have the money, right? And there's 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 ways that you can invest some of it. I, I, I would say this, if it's for your growth, right? If it's something that you're truly passionate about and that you think can help you, your family, whatever, the financial aspect of it is 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 ultimately going to be worth it if you've sit there and done the thing and, and you stick it out and you're going to actually get gain that degree or whatever else it is. Sometimes it's really, really important. And even, you know, for, for my extreme budgeters, right? For my extreme people who, who are saving because they know eventually they have to retire and all that's great. Like, and again, I've worked in finance the majority of my adult life. So I get it. I'm an extreme saver as well myself, but sometimes, you have to, you're mortgaging your present for your future. And I know a lot of people say that the opposite way around, but you got to think about it this way. If you get to that, well, when you get to that retirement age and you save all that money and you haven't taken really many, any risk at all or done stuff out of the box because you've just done things day to day, you've lived in that linear movement period. When you retire, some people who retire, even though they have come from it, they sit there and think, you know what? I really just wish I would have took that painting class. I wish I would have learned this skill. And so as we're younger, we, we, we sometimes think about the future. Some of us don't think about the future at all. And there's a balance that needs to be struck between that. But money, sometimes you need, you need to invest, give yourself the freedom and the permission to spend some of that money to change, to change, and I'm not saying don't make your bills or not pay your rent. I'm never saying anything like that, but make a little adjustments on how you spend your money, how maybe you save your money so that you can grow. That's just one thing. And next thing that we're talking about, attention, right? And this is last but not least at all, is attention. Where you put your attention is important in your growth because the, the factors and the things that you bring around you and, and 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 stuff like that are very important parts of that life. So when you sit there and you give people or you give so much other things your attention that may be needed, may be whatever, um, but you gotta invest your attention in something that is going to help you grow and be purposeful about it. Sometimes the attention is make, creating a new role for yourself. Um, sometimes it's con controlling inputs that you allow into your life. Um, where you put your attention, like for me, for example, Twitter and social media has, as I've become podcasting and trying to get the name out there and market and everything has become a bigger part of where my attention goes and where it ever was. I've said this before on the podcast. I was on Twitter. I've been now on Twitter for 11 years. 99% of my tweets in those 11 years have come in the last three years since I started the podcast. So my attention, that just lets you know, my attention has shifted, so much of my attention have shift, have sh has shifted there and it shifted there because I'm trying to grow and learn marketing and interact with people and other creatives and everything else. So a lot of my attention has shifted there, um, but I had to give myself the permission to do that, right? Because if I would have kept the same mindset of, I don't want to just be on social media, like I can, I can be out mowing the lard, I could be out the awakened soul where it still would have had a lot of great content. It may not be out there to people if I didn't give myself the time and the and the the leeway to put my attention into that somewhat. Um, now, again, there is a balance, and sometimes I I have to realize that maybe that balance for me is going too far into that, and then I have to refocus again and put my attention into other things, which. Like me learning cinematography, me learning film, me learning uh, photography, all that was me applying some of that attention that went into other places now into that, which now has become a side business for me and a moneymaker for me. I gave myself the permission to put my attention into the ability to learn those skills and into the methods that I wanted to learn those skills and now look at where I am with it. So that's a big part of it. You have to put the, put your attention in things that are going to help you grow. Um, and that's... That's where I stand with it. Um, I think growth, we already said growth is uncomfortable. We've said that on other episodes. That's why they're called growing pains. Um, there's ask any teenager when they're going through growth spurt, that shit is not comfortable at all. Their bones hurt, uh, back hurts, everything. Um, 
And we have to be intentional about the way that we grow, especially as adults, because as adults, we can get so caught up in paying the bills, going to work, paying our mortgage, um, putting time into our kids, which is which are all necessary things that we forget about our own growth. We can't and we shouldn't stop our growth just because of other things going on in our life. We should always be growing as people. At least that's my opinion on it. And that's the methodology and the mindset that I put into my life now is that everything, every step of the way, I want to continue to grow, continue to just get better at everything that I do. Um, and I want that for the people around me. I want that for the people who are close to me and that I love is that we all need to grow. We've had such a difficult year um, and a year in which I, a lot of people and, uh, you know, me, I for a big part of the year. And I did that episode talking about how depressed I was at the start of the pandemic. I wasn't growing, um, but I used that time to grow. And the creative came about and became such a beautiful thing um, because uh, I was intentional and I put time behind that growth. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. A uh, fairly short episode of The Awakened Soul this week. A good listen. Let me know what you guys think about it. I also want to hear from you guys. What's one thing you're going to do so that you make sure that you are purposely growing in some way in 2021? What is something that you want to grow in? How are you going to go about that growth? What's on your mind? Let me know. You know where to send that feedback. Uh, you can hit me up at CEO Hayes. You can follow the podcast at Awaken Soul Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, theawakensoulpod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave us a voicemail to talk about that growth, you can do so at 614-547-2039. We are the number one podcast in the world. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm out. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.